Here, what is the question? Write a neat labeled diagram. Describe the parts of a mature angiosperm embryo sac. Mention the role of synergy. This is a question. To this question, you have to write the answer in this way. Here, to this question, 8 marks are allotted. In which way 8 marks are distributed? So, I will explain here. You write up to this. These points, you will get 1 mark. And about the egg apparatus, you will get 1 mark. Role of synergies, you will get 1 mark. Then, about antipod, you will get 1 mark. About central cell you will get one mark. So this diagram and labeling you will get. In this way by writing this answer clearly you will get eight marks compulsory. But directly I could not explain the embryo sac because uh, two people must understand actually what is embryo sac, where it is located. So in the explaining that I will take so many diagrams but no need to draw all those diagrams in the examination just up to these points you can write and will get easily eight. Actually what is an Angiosperm. angiosperm means nothing very simple flowering plant and at the same time the plants can produce fruits inside the fruits seeds are present simply produce fruits with seeds and flowering plant so here this is a simple diagram of a flower this is stalk of flower called as pedicel above the pedicel broad structure is present that is called thalamus on the thalamus usually general four floral parts called sepals petals stamens and pistil are arranged stamen is a general Generally, we can call it as male sex organ and pistil, we can call it as female sex organ. Usually, stamens produce pollen grains. By touching the flower, you can feel some powder-like structure that is stick to your fingers. That is nothing but pollen grains. So, usually pollen grains produced by the male sex organ called stamens and female sex organ called pistil. This is the clear diagram of pistil. In pistil, three clear parts are there. The basal large part called ovary. Inside the ovary, ovules are present. These are open. And above the ovary, stalk-like structure is present that is called style. At the tip of the style, stigma is present. After pollination, and uh, fertilization what happens the ovary developed into fruit and ovules developed into seeds now i will explain about the ovule this is small blue colored one is ovule so this is a clear diagram of ovule so in this diagram you can see all parts of the ovule the stalk of ovule called funicle with the help of funicle only ovule attached to the particular region inside the ovary that region called placenta inside the ovule actually now what is our uh, eight marks question about the embryo sac. So, this is the embryo sac which is present inside the ovule. Around the embryo sac, one kind of soft tissue is present that is new cell. This new cellus is surrounded and protected by two ovule walls. These are called integuments. These two integuments completely won't cover the new cellus. Just by leaving a small pore, the remain new cellus is completely covered by, surrounded by integument. That small pore you can call it as micropyle. In seeds also you can observe some small pore like structure. Ovule only developed into seed. So seed pore is nothing but micropyle of ovule. So here you have to focus on micropyle region and at the same time chalaza region. What is chalaza? Chalaza is exactly located opposite to the micropyle. This is chalaza region. In this region three parts are winged. Here what are the three parts? One is integuments. And uh, second one is new cellus and funicle. Funicle, new cellus and integuments are mingled here. This region is called chalaza and chalaza is exactly opposite to the micropyle or region. Because you have to know the two terms micropyle and chalazal region. Because while explaining embryo sac, you will get the names micropyle and chalaza. Now, I will explain the embryo sac structure. Now, you have some idea about the embryo sac location. Where it is located, embryo sac is present inside the ovule. So, this is the clear diagram. How many parts are present? Here, three parts. One is egg apparatus and second one is antipodols. Third one is central cell. In egg apparatus, how many cells are present? Three cells are present. These three cells are located towards the micro region. That is why already I taught you. Please keep in mind about the micropyla and chalazal region. Three cells which are located towards the micropyla region. Three cells constitute as egg apparatus. So in egg apparatus three cells are present. The middle one called egg cell. On either side of the egg cell two synergies are present. What is the main role of synergy? In the diagram you can see synergies only have special cellular thickenings or brush like structure which are red in color. I will draw in red in color. This structure called as piliform apparatus. 
So what is the role of piliform apparatus? I will explain. Here, generally what happens? Stamens produce pollen. This is male sex organ. Stamen produce pollen. By wind, by insects or by water, usually pollen grain reach stigma. This is called pollination. What happens to the pollen grain? This is stigma, pollen grain. By absorbing moisture, usually pollen grains germinate and produce a tube-like structure that is called pollen tube. So this pollen tube passes through the style and each pollen tube enter into each ovule. In this diagram, I draw so many ovules inside the ovary but here just for a clear view of diagram, I draw only one ovule. So if uh, ovary has so many ovules also, so many pollen grains germinate and so many pollen tubes uh, passes through the style and each pollen tube enter into each ovule. So here the pollen tube enter into the ovule. The entry of ovule is three ways. How it is, I will explain you. So here pollen tube enter into the ovule through integuments, through ovule walls. This is one way. And some two other ways are also there. So what are the other ways? Already in the diagram I explained pollen tube enter into the ovule through integument. And uh, other one pollen tube enter into the ovule through micropylar region. And uh, other way pollen tube may enter into the ovule through chalas. So in three ways pollen tube enter into the ovule. Now pollen tube must enter into the embryos. In which way? I will tell you about the synergid piliform apparatus role. This piliform apparatus produces one kind of chemical substance. By the activity of that chemical, what happens? The piliform apparatus guide the pollen tube into the synergy. So, maybe through chalaza, maybe through integuments, wherever it is present inside the ovule, this pollen tube must move towards the synergy and enter into the synergy. By rupturing any one of synergy pollen tube enter into the embryo sac. In this way, the piliform apparatus guide the pollen tube enter into the embryo sac through the synergy only. So, in this way, synergies help the pollen tube to enter into the embryo sac. That is the main role. And uh, another one, antipodals. So, usually antipodals are three cells which are located towards the chalazal region. And the central cell, only one single cell. Inside the central cell, two polar nuclei are present. Finally, embryo sac has seven cells and eight nuclei. Here, in what way seven cells? So, three cells are located towards the micropylar region and three cells are located towards chalazal region. So, 3 plus 3, 6 and this is only central cell. So, 1. So, 7 cell. And 8 nuclei because in each cell, 1 nucleus is present. Here also 1 nucleus is present. Here also 1, 1, 1. But in central cell, only one single cell has 2 nuclei. That is why here 1 extra. So, here 3, 3, 6, 7, 8 nuclei are present. This is a special characteristic feature of embryo sac. So, in this way, by writing this answer in simple way, you will get easily 8 marks. So, read perfectly and write perfectly and get 8 marks out of 8. All the best. Thank you.